folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Iron Man the Armored Avenger Legend Series Titanium Man action figure. This figure set is part of the first wave of Iron Man the Armored Avenger line of 6 inch action figures and was first released in 2011. I got this figure set at a Toys R Us and I paid $17.99 for this set. Taking a look at the figure here in the package you can see titanium man uh, not the first uh, iteration of uh, titanium man but uh, a later version a more modern version I guess and you can see here that uh, this figure uh, set comes with a blaster and two snot missiles taking a look here at the back of the package you can see a description here of titanium man there with a nice picture of the figure there and other figures from uh, the 6 inch line uh, we have here a uh, Iron Man Mark 6 a Hulkbuster Iron Man and War Machine we'll be right back and have this figure set uh, out of the package alright well we're back and we have Titanium Man out of the package and first up uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the missile launcher and uh, that's right here and I do believe uh, this uh, missile launcher came out uh, with the uh, Iron Man 6 inch line of uh, figures uh, that came out with the movie in 2008 I'm not sure which figure this one uh, this launcher came with but uh, I believe that's where it came from and uh, it's re-released here with the titanium man painted in green it's got some uh, red accents on there kinda neat and I, I actually do like the sculpt of this it's got some neat uh, little uh, I guess extra sculpting here some detailing it's actually uh, kinda neat and this is a double missile launcher you can see uh, two springs there and of course uh, the figure set comes with two missiles uh, semi translucent red and you just push these missiles until they click and lock into place and there's a button right here and to launch the missiles yeah, push the button down and they fight, fire uh, quite well on there now uh, the missile launcher is not that secure on the uh, forearm of the figure here I don't know if you have to squeeze uh, these clips a little bit closer or put something on here uh, maybe the clear elastic band around the forearm to just secure it into place otherwise it just sits really loose on the uh, arm there yeah where it practically just uh, drops right off so but uh, that's the missile launcher there nicely sculpted right? but uh, pretty useless uh, to go with the figure and uh, taking a look at the figure you can see titanium man here and uh, this is not the first uh, iteration of uh, Titanium Man. I think this is a more modern version. Uh, it's not a version I'm familiar with. I'm more familiar with the one that uh, the Gremlin uh, constructed. Uh, I think this is a, a later version of Titanium Man. But it's still a nice uh, figure. A little lean though. Um, used to a Titanium Man that's uh, bigger and bulkier and this one's a little bit more lean and shorter uh, it's uh, just barely taller than Iron Man himself uh, from the Armored Avenger line and but uh, taking a look at the figure here it's actually kinda neat on the details it's very well sculpted I really like the details starting with the head here you can see the visor and it's painted in orange uh, almost like a gloss like uh, orange uh, to make it look like a um, I guess a glass type visor and it's actually uh, kind of neat you can see some more sculpting uh, on the head there it's actually uh, r really nice you got these uh, shoulder pads here and I like the details on the ends of the shoulder pads it's actually kind of neat and of course you got the armor here and the sculpt on the armor especially at the torso very uh, straight cuts uh, almost mechanical like and it's actually uh, pretty neat you even have 
more detail here on the back uh, where the spine uh, would go and uh, it's kind of neat how uh, the articulation is uh, very well designed where you bend the figure down and this is goes beneath the the upper uh, torso the chest area on there so it doesn't impede any of the articulation that's actually kind of neat on there and uh, it's a little flat on this on the back there but uh, anyways uh, I like the banding on the armor here along the uh, the arms and the legs it's actually kind of neat you have some more uh, armor accents on the legs here in green and you get some details on the fist there one thing I am not too fond of is the fist on the, or the hand on on this hair uh, the left and uh, the peg doesn't go all the way in. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, you can see a gap between the uh, hand and the wrist there, which is unfortunate. I believe it's just my figure. I believe uh, other figures are, won't have that problem. Well, ho well hopefully uh, not have that problem though. And uh, it's kind of cool uh, on the boots here. Yeah, you got this uh, nice sculpting detail on the boots. To make him, I guess, more imposing uh, on there, and some details in the bottom of the boot there. It's actually uh, quite neat. Overall, uh, on the sculpt, it's actually uh, quite neat. Uh, Paint-wise, though, it's a little sloppy. Uh, you can see some of the paint here on the armor is not very well applied here. Some bleed on the visor, but not too much and some paint uh, chipping or plastic chipping uh, from the paint of the uh, seem to have flaked off in several areas especially right at the joints on the hinge joints over here but other than that it's a uh, it's, it's a decently painted figure uh, I like the paint details on the arm especially the metallic bands it's actually uh, quite neat uh, going over the articulation uh, the head is on a hinged uh, swivel joint or ball joint the head uh, can go up and down uh, nicely if not a little loose and it does go side to side but not all the way around because of the joint on the shoulder there and uh, the shoulders do go uh, up and down on here on, on a hinge joint to allow more uh, movement on the shoulder there uh, the uh, arms can uh, can they go all the way around? Uh, not quite, uh, because of that uh, shoulder armor there. But they do swing uh, back and forth that much. They do go out about that high uh, with the armor raised or the shoulder armor raised. And the biceps can go all the way around. The elbows are on a double hinge joint on there. Uh, unfortunately, no rotation on the forearm. Uh, that would have been nice, but there is for uh, uh, there is a uh, rotation along the wrist all the way around, as well as uh, in and out uh, with a hinge joint. Uh, the torso is on that uh, hinge joint uh, I showed earlier. It's actually very nice. I really like how that uh, just slides in underneath. That's kind of cool. It goes down, up, and back, uh, and in combination with the head going up, you can get some nice flying poses. The waist goes all the way around. The uh, legs are joined at this, I don't know if this is a full ball joint, uh, but it's a hinge joint, it looks like a semi ball joint on there. It allows the leg to go up, uh, down, uh, to the back, and if you rotate the ball, it can go out to the side. and the top of the thigh does rotate around this uh, semi ball joint on there unfortunately no uh, mid thigh rotation there is a uh, double knee joints uh, the joints on here are a little soft I wish they were made of a uh, stiffer plastic but uh, it's a little soft so you can see the leg uh, bend uh, side to side like that uh, no uh, calf articulation or boot articulation that would have been nice uh, but the feet do go up and down and uh, all the way around. Overall, it's a decent figure. Uh, I would have preferred the uh, original uh, Titanium Man figure, uh, but this is still a decent figure. I'm not uh, disappointed uh, too much uh, with the figure other than some QC issues here and there. Uh, 
uh, but it's still a, a really nicely uh, sculpted figure. I really like the sculpt on here. This is my casual peek into the Iron Man the Armored Avenger uh, Legend series Titanium Man uh, action figure. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.